Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Luis, coming to you from this old babe shop. Today is Sunday. It's about 3.50 in the afternoon. It's a beautiful day outside. It's getting a little warm, it feels like. It was nice this morning. I uh, just want to say what's up, say hello to everybody. Hope everybody's doing well out there. Um, I want to talk to you about a few different things here. One being this cool little device. Now, it isn't a smoke device, right? But I use this little band for it because it holds my hand in the place. But this is a mechanical mod. Now, some of you may not know what a mechanical mod is, but a mechanical mod works in the same sense of a flashlight. You push the button, and it fires, right? So you push the button, it turns on, you let go, it turns off. Um, I'm a big fan of mechanical mods. You guys come in here all the time. You guys see me. I always have these metal tubes in my hand. Um, it used to be that you had to use them with an atomizer that you built your own coils on because you had to get the coils to a certain resistance in order for them to perform well. Well, now the tanks are all built... Uh, to where they have low ohm resistance on them so they actually perform really really well on them so when i find a mech mod i like i generally will pick it up because the baby bees smokes products uh all have coils that are 0.2 ohms or lower now so it makes it really cool and performs really well and i don't have to constantly drip anymore uh, but i just wanted to show you this device it's cool um push the button get a bunch of vapor out of it uh it's kind of a neat device it's a, it's a new design. It's made by Wismec. It's a Wismec uh, Relo Mech Mod. And it comes in this little fancy box here. Nothing too crazy. Just a clear plastic box. Um, but it's cool. It's really neat. It comes with some extra O-rings too. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but what I really like about this device, right, is it comes in different colors. So this is the white honeycomb. Look at that. That's beautiful. I like that a lot. Um, it comes in like the acrylic swirl. That's a nice little color with the rainbow tank on it, right? And then I have the yellow honeycomb too. So the yellow honeycomb is pretty neat. I paired it up with the gold tank. Uh, but I wanted to kind of pull it apart and explain to you why I like it so much. Uh, so what's cool about it is so here you have your bottom, right? You see your top cap. What I'm going to do is I'm going to unscrew it, right? So that's the top cap in the tank. The sleeve comes off, so I'm assuming that future ways down the road you'll be able to purchase these things separately so you can kind of change it up and get a different style mod, different color or whatnot. And then this is your sleeve where the tube, the battery goes into. Well, inside of that tube is this little guy. And it's a sleeve for your battery, and this is why I really like this device. Um, they don't really explain it on the box. They don't really explain it uh, anywhere in the directions, even if it has directions. But what I like about it is that this is an extra layer of protection for your batteries. Uh, your battery itself never comes into contact with anything that's metal other than the contact points right there. Um, and this is really, really sweet. So even down here, right, when you push the button, it kind of just floats. And that's because the spring is in the top cap here. I don't know if you can hear that or see that, but that's where the spring's at. So when you screw this all back together, it spring loads that button. And the button is flush, um, so you can set it down on itself and it's not going to auto fire. You know, you really have to make a conscious effort to push that button down here on the bottom, which is what I like to do. Um, so yeah, it's a really cool design, it's a really cool concept. Nobody's really talking about these things but because a lot of people don't use mechs anymore. Uh, but I really like this. Now, there was one thing that was driving me nuts with it, and I'll show you here. So what was happening uh, the first few days I was using it. Shit, I just dropped that one. This cap uh, is, let me grab that real quick. Is that when I was putting a battery in there, and because of whatever this material is here, I'm not sure if it's stainless steel coated with brass or what it felt like the battery was kind of building a a residue on there right i mean it happens with every mech every contact it just always does it builds up residue or tarnish but this felt like it was actually getting a little bit of build up on it and my batteries were dying in like an hour and a half and that's just not okay especially you know because i don't want to walk around with eight batteries so i can get through the day here at the shop um but what i did do is I put a no-ox grease on it, right? So it's a no-oxidation grease. Uh, it's a little white can that I have here at the shop. And I do that for everybody who buys one of these because it really made a major difference in how this guy performed and also my battery life. 
Um, it works great. I love it. It feels good in the hand. Form function is form factor is awesome because it's small, it's narrow, and then it performs really well with the Baby Beast Brother. I like the Baby Beast Brother now too because it's top airflow. And I just ordered 0.13 ohm coils, so now it responds really well on a Mac. They work well together. It's an awesome device. I like it a lot. Um, so yeah, you guys should come down and check them out. I'll let you try mine out if you want to try it out. I've sold a few of these guys already. Uh, they work great. So yeah, I just thought I'd share that with you. It's kind of a new device, an old style, but a new design, and, and, and it works awesome. Another thing I wanted to tell you guys is Dr. Drip's back in the house with Kate's Coffee. I don't know if you guys remember this stuff from last year, um, but it's a delicious, creamy coffee. So you guys out there that want a coffee vape, Dr. Drip's back in stock. And come in and get yourself a bottle because it's a very, very, very good coffee. So yeah, that's my review of the Wismic Rouleau Mech Mod. It's called the Machina, as a matter of fact. It's uh, Spanish for machine. So Machina, it's a mech. Uh, really cool name. I like it a lot. And I just thought I'd share that with you guys. So it's a good product. Uh, just make sure and put that no ox grease on there. When you guys come in here and buy one, I'll make sure and put it on for you before you get out of here so that you get the best performance out of this device as possible. All right, guys, my name is Luis, and we'll see you uh, later on this week at this old vape shop.